Welcome back to Crispy Comments Part 35. This series is getting ridiculously long. Starting out with a not crispy comment, just an absolute banger of a pickup line that I wanted to highlight. Are you opalized? Because every time I look at you, I see a spectrum of colors. Yes, 10 out of 10, no notes. I sent this to like three of my friends and they loved it. Then just shut up. Short and sweet, I guess. Um, zero out of 10, absolutely no effort was put into this comment. The anime boy hands strike again. I can't focus because of her hands. Good lord, stop fucking moving them. Okay, if you don't like how I talk, don't watch. Then, yes sir, also tougher skin is needed if you plan on making content. This new generation is too damn soft. <sighs> I'm not the one getting super hot and bothered by how somebody moves her hands in a 45 second video. You don't like my hand gestures and how I talk, that is a you problem, that is not a me problem. Uh, and then this person goes very maturely, okay, that's a you problem. I'm sorry, I did not realize I was dealing with a 12 year old middle school boy. Ooh, yeah, I'm the generation that needs to be tougher when I have an entire series making fun of people getting super bothered about absolutely nothing. <coughs> Snowflake. Again, people really don't like my hand gestures. Um, well said. Thank you, I know. Um, but loose, loose, the flailing hand syndrome is annoying when anybody does it. It doesn't help with an explanation like people think it does or infer. I don't think you're, I don't think that's the correct word to use there. Infer intelligence, it exudes pretentiousness like a shitty salesperson. Per whoa, whoops, shitty salesperson. Say that five times fast. Sorry, but if you loose this one syndrome, it will make a difference in your teaching abilities. I'm gonna give this one a four out of ten. Um, yeah, would have been a bit higher, but without the spelling mistakes. It's called a horsefly, my god, where has this world gone to? I made a whole video differentiating between assassinfly, horsefly, and mosquito, but this one's just funny to me because, again, he is so confidently wrong, it's hilarious, and there are a couple other people piling on him in the comments. Of course you're a Palestine supporter, you freeloading weirdo. Um, yeah, and I was also freeloading your mom last night. I think this video needs to start with a trigger warning. When a Democrat watches this video, they potentially might feel deeply offended by those biological facts. Okay. I, first of all, I'm Canadian, so, okay. I feel like this dude was gonna, I don't even remember what video this was on, but I feel like tomato is a Republican trying to potentially make a dig at either abortion, trans people, or both? I don't even remember the context of this video. It might have been just a fucking animal facts one, so... Um, negative one out of ten because I feel like they're trying to be a bigot, but it's not quite hitting. This is just another, um, example of the conspiracy. They are out to get everybody. Well, they, who, are definitely going to try to engineer it to affect us sooner or later. This was on the virus that was found in the permafrost. This one, no, just tell me you don't know how genetic engineering and viruses work without telling me you don't know how genetic engineering and viruses work. You have a boyfriend? No. Why, Newt? Move to Europe? Don't hit on random people in their comment section. The only exception being if you have a banger of a science pickup line because those are always hysterical. Don't just hit on random people. Also, not really a crispy comment, but just a trend in my DMs. I am apparently very popular with the very specific demographic of sexually repressed mid-twenties Muslim men. There are so many 
just mid-20s Muslim men hitting on me in the comments. Like, so many. I Is this just for everybody or do I just attract this very specific demographic? Also, again, don't just hit on random people. No body gives a shit. Um, the 4K at the time of this screenshot, like say otherwise, it has now increased quite a while since then. Um, quite a lot of people give a shit actually, including your mom. Sorry, I don't speak lesbian. Sorry, I don't speak can't spell. Again, if you're gonna try to make a dig at somebody, at least make sure you can spell it correctly. Also, bisexual, but that didn't really matter when I was with your mom. Did I ask? You stayed for the video and you stayed long enough to make this comment, Emmett. And also, that's the weirdest spelling of Emmett I've ever seen. Again, it takes longer to type out a rude comment than it does to just scroll away. So, um, one out of ten, now you're wasting both of our times. Then there's this guy again. He was here before being immature in the comment section. Um, hey, your hair's wet, by the way. You might want to dry. Okay. Um, one out of ten, weird thing to comment on. Then, not fucking real. Good try, though, hun. Um, just because you never leave your mom's basement and have thus evolved into an eyeless cave troll because you never touch grass doesn't mean that something's not real just because you never leave your dungeon hole long enough to see it. And finally, help me, I clicked this and didn't realize I'd have to listen to some woman try to explain something to me. That is okay. Sometimes these concepts are a little bit tricky for somebody of your intelligence. If some of these concepts are just a little bit too tricky, I have some great recommendations, including PBS Kids. Now, some of those still might be a little bit too tricky, but I'm sure if you just put all of your two brain cells together, you may be able to understand it.